Yes, Bef before I focus on the events of the embassy, uh, Ms. Uh, Yo Yoshan? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, um, the Yazidi people are among the, uh, or, or probably the most oppressed people from ISIS. Uh, which countries and groups uh, in the area have provided safe haven or otherwise cooperated in the protection of the Yazidis? Well, there have been a lot of countries that accept Yazidi refugees. I, 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 in a I very mean, in the area, amount. I know that. They, yeah. you know, so, European. as you know, I have traveled to the region and I saw uh, very protected Yazidis in northern Syria, which is under control of YPG currently, because their rights as Yazidi minority have been respected. They have not been placed in the camps with Muslim uh, refugees or, or even Christians. They have separate camp and they were very thankful for what they have. So the uh, the YPG has been has been helpful. Um, any other groups uh, that have protected Yazidis there? Yes, in the attack in the August attack, it was YPG who created the Green Corridor and about fifty thousand Yazidis they fled to northern Syria. As of today, I visited the camp which um, is hosting five thousand families. And how has the Turkish government treated the Yazidis? Well, there was a case last year that Yazidis were trying to travel to Hungary and they were beaten up and placed to the prison. And yes, and now there was only a few camps that was under districts or control of HDP. So uh, that right has been taken away from HDP and Yazidi refugees has been spread all over the Turkey. So it's, it's very, very difficult for Yazidis to wanna, survive. I want to now focus on our reaction to this Turkey.